Alright, first video of the day, so let's check out what's going on with Cardano and then we'll check out a bunch of the other altcoins and finish with Bitcoin as usual. So uh, in the past few videos, we've obviously outlined that we are stuck between this huge triangle. To make a long story short, we've basically been talking about this $1 support, which is the most important level, simply because you can see that we have an absolute plethora of touch points on here. I think we counted it in our previous video, it's something like 15 or 19, something ridiculous like that. And obviously we said the uh, the more and more you touch resistance or the more and more you touch support, the weaker and weaker it gets. It does seem like we are now breaking below this support at $1. Um, but do bear in mind, if you if we do look at this $1, uh, I don't want to make, you know, I don't want to make anyone panic because we have had, you know, a wick below, a wick below, multiple wicks below, um, you know, a couple of daily candles below over here. If we do come over here as well you can see that we had a, a pretty harsh wick multiple times down here if we did take a measure move tool you can see that you know we wicked almost as far as 10 percent below and you know we pumped back up so uh, what i'd be looking for is a weekly candle body close which uh, would obviously correlate to the 21st if we did come over to the weekly uh, you can see that we have never closed a weekly candle below this uh this one dollar support so you know in my opinion if we did break below this one dollar on the weekly that would be all she wrote that would in my opinion um you know kind of correlate to the start of the bear market obviously you could argue that the bear market is kind of all the way back up here if we come over to bitcoin as well we've obviously been downtrending for a very long time and I do just kind of find it a little bit difficult to believe that you know we would have gone up had a 55 percent correction gone up what uh gone up five percent and then had another 55 percent correction i just feel like it's too predictable and bitcoin's not normally you know never normally this predictable so uh bitcoin is currently hugging the forty thousand. in my opinion uh ada and all the other altcoins are going to follow what bitcoin does as long as bitcoin doesn't close a i'd say a weekly candle below this forty thousand. then in my opinion uh the trajectory is still going to bounce for me you know, I, I'm not saying that we are going to enter a bear market, but in, if, if we do look at the total crypto market cap, we are below the 618. I would really, really like to get above here, you know, in the next in the next couple of days, because I do believe if we have another weekly candle below here, then I I do see us coming all the way down to this 2.618. I, I don't really see that, you know, we would kind of double bottom in the middle of nowhere. I, I do think that we would at least make a new low, whether that would be the you know the ultimate low um so in my opinion you know do bear in mind i am saying it is kind of potential that we are getting towards bear market territory but do bear in mind in my opinion i do not believe that we're going to have a multi-year bear market i do believe that if we're going to have a bear market if i come over to btc we would do something like this come down to somewhere like twenty-eight thousand, which you can see that we've we've bottomed on here multiple times before and you know we were kind of hanging around here before so you know there's, there's plenty of touch points on the 28,000 i do believe in my opinion 28,000 is the absolute bottom could be wrong um but you know if we do enter a bear market it would be because we are breaking below this 40,000 on the total crypto market cap it would be because you know we have had multiple days underneath this two uh this 618 here so uh all in all obviously this is an ada video but you know do bear in mind ADA is going to follow. Um, ADA is going to follow Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going to follow the total crypto market cap, and the total crypto market cap is most likely going to follow the SPY, which is why you know if we look at the stock market and if we look at Bitcoin, all of these are so so similar, and it's similar for a reason. Obviously, all these markets pretty much move in tandem. You know, some of them are outliers. Sometimes you know some of them go up and the others go down, but as a majority these all kind of do follow the same market structure so in my opinion if bitcoin keeps on crashing then ada is going to lose this one dollar if we did see a weekly close i would see us coming down to this red box that i've got outlined here you can see the bottom of this red box is uh or the, the top of this red box is uh the 76 cent level and this lines up with the 786 fib retracement if you do see the bottom of the box down here it would be the 1.618 target of this fib from low to high up here so you can see that the price target of that would be somewhere around 70 cents so i mean all in all 
If we do have a weekly candle below this red line, which is on the one dollar, I do believe we're going to have, you know, a, maybe a 30% correction, maybe a 25% correction. Either way, you know, uh, I'm, I personally wouldn't be trading it. I would kind of be sitting on the sidelines waiting until we do see a bottom indicator uh, before I start, you know, jumping back in the market. So right now, you know, if, if, if everyone has been watching my channel for the past couple of weeks, you know that I've been saying that I have been sitting on the sidelines for everything. You know, people do comment on my comment uh, comment on my videos saying, oh, I'll buy the dip now, I'll buy the dip now. And I always say, you know, I'll buy the dip when we break out and confirm a reversal. You know, people are saying buy the dip here. People are saying buy the dip here. People are also saying buy the dip here. And, you know, I'm, I'm a patient trader, which is not the popular opinion. You know, if I just make, make all my YouTube videos and say we're going to $10 for ADA tomorrow, then I'd get a lot more views. But, you know, unfortunately, I do see us kind of getting very very close to dangerous territory i mean if we do reverse right now so be it that is definitely a possibility like i'm very 50 50 on this right now so i haven't made a decision whether i do think that we are going to break bearish or bullish um you know simply because if we do have a quick turnaround right now then you know that that could be all she wrote so i mean bitcoin is above the forty thousand right now until we do have a weekly candle above here then i'm not going to be bearish on on, on everything one more cause for concern if you do come over to the btc dominance we are above the 200 day moving average and we have outlined this before whenever B whenever bitcoin is above the 200 day it mostly uh, not all the time but a lot of the time it means that we are entering a bear market and you know if bitcoin starts rallying that means that you know your adas your beefs your your black coins all of the altcoins really are going to start falling off the table against bitcoin so yeah uh, that's really all I'm seeing for ADA right now. Uh, do bear in mind, this is just my opinion on the market. Uh, once again, none of this is financial advice. It's just my opinion on the market. And you've always got to do what's best for you. Peace out.